Hi guys, welcome back to Edgy's Kitchen. So in today's video, we will be making a very famous French baguette. Now this is a very easy bread to make because the dough only requires four simple ingredients and there's not a lot of kneading that's required for this bread. You will be kneading, but it will be in stages. So to start off, I will be showing you the four simple ingredients. I know you see sugar, which is the fifth ingredient, but I only put that as an option because I needed the sugar to help balance out the flavor. So to start off, we're just going to mix all of our dry ingredients together using a wooden spoon. I usually use my hands and I usually activate my yeast in liquid before I add it into the flour, but like I said, this is a very different bread and it is big enough friendly, that's why I am adding the yeast and the salt together. And if you're a baker, then you know you usually don't add yeast and salt together because the salt kills the yeast, but it's safe to do it for this bread. That won't happen. <laughs> Let's hope. Nah, I'm joking, but that, that won't happen. Now after we mix all of our dry ingredients together, we will start to add in the water. And make sure you add your water in stages. Don't add all your water at the same time because the, it will break up the dough and you don't want to um, add too much water into the dough. So just make sure you're adding the water slowly and you're using the back of a wooden spoon to mix the dough. And remember, this dough is supposed to be sticky and wet looking. so. Don't get alarmed when you see that the dough is all sticky because that's what you're looking for. Because we will let this dough rise for 45 minutes and knead it again and we'll repeat that step two times before we actually start the process. the dough I'm just going to transfer the dough onto a surface and as you can see the dough is very sticky and wet looking it's not perfect but that's what you're looking for if it's making other breads like dinner rolls you will want the dough to be perfect but right now it's okay for the dough to be sticky looking and I just put some more water on my hands to help with the dough so now all we're going to do is transfer this into a different clean bowl and we will close it and let that rise for 45 minutes Okay, it's been 45 minutes and I'm just going to flour the surface. As you can see, the dough have doubled in size. And now all I'm going to do is place the dough back onto the surface. surface, And I'm going to be kneading this for about a minute. As you can see, the dough is still very sticky, but that's not a problem because we will let it rise again. And as it keep rising and we keep kneading it, the stickiness will go away and it will come together more. Now the only reason we're doing this in stages is because I think that by doing it in stages you add more flavor into the baguette because remember you use such simple ingredients but you still want your bread to taste good. As you can see I finally got my bench scraper because believe me you don't want to make this bread without one. So we're just going to place it back into the bowl and let it rise for another 45 minutes. Okay, so it's been another 45 minutes and now I am going to flour the surface and as you can see the dough have doubled in size again and at this point the dough should come together more if it don't come together then you got a problem but it should just add a little bit of flour on top and you should see that the dough should be looking more smooth less sticky once we start kneading it just like i was saying you can see the dough is looking perfect now this if you're making like dinner rolls or like butter rolls or any other kind of bread this is like the texture you will want so just keep kneading and i always use the same kneading technique i basically just put another one half of the dough over the other half and this is very simple to do 
once you get the hang of it you'll see that it's not hard at all and after this we're just going to place it back into the bowl cover it and let it rise for 45 more minutes in total we're doing this process three times since we started what I'm doing here is basically rounding the dough and this is a very easy technique as well and then we place it back and let it rise again here's the dough after another 45 minutes and we will repeat this process again flour the surface take out the dough and play with it Now remember this is the third and last time we will be doing this process and when it comes out the next thing we will be doing is divide it and start shaping it. Now don't forget to round it again and place it back into the bowl and let it rise for the final 45 minutes. Okay so while the dough was rising yes behind me is a pillowcase you could use any towel or blanket that's clean but I use a pillowcase because my this pillowcase is really clean and I use it for pastry so this is how the dough looks after the final 45 minutes it looks very beautiful and I just floured the surface and I added more flour on top and now I'm just kneading it again to um, bring the dough together more remember this is what's bringing in those layers of flavor and texture and remember the baguette is supposed to have a very hard skin and this also helps with that so now all you're going all I'm going to do is use my bench scraper this is plastic and I'm just going to score it so that I could divide divide the dough into four even pieces So I got my chef knife out, I need to sharpen this knife but this is my house knife and I just sliced the dough and I eyed it, I, oh, my accent is getting in the way but you could use the scale but I didn't really want to use the scale so now that I divided the pieces I'm just going to start shaping the baguettes. And please remember the pillowcase is very important because it helps the baguette rise and the shape. And now all I'm basically doing is folding the dough over each like over itself and to give it that shape. And then you close off the end and now you're just going to start rolling it to the size that you want. this is a time where you just play with your baguettes and if you also want to give it a different shape at this point you honestly can the only reason I'm rolling is because the baguette shape like the traditional French baguette is supposed to be this long thin bread but if you want to make rolls or anything you could go ahead and do that but I would advise to try this first and now all I'm doing is rolling it and after I roll I'm just going to place it on top of the pillowcase and I'm going to repeat this process with the next three pieces
I'm going to make the last two baguettes a little bit longer than the first two just because I wanted to have two different styles of baguettes. So the first two I'm going to make them short and the um, last two I'll make it longer as you can see. The third baguette is long and not all you're doing. Oh, I almost forgot. Please make sure you put flour on your pillowcase. Otherwise, the baguettes will stick onto the pillowcase and then this whole thing will be for nothing. So flour your pet on pillowcase and do what I'm doing in this video. After you place the dough um, onto the pillowcase, fold it a little bit so that it can stay together. So now once we place the last baguette onto the pillowcase, we will sprinkle a little bit of flour onto the baguettes. Now this is optional, I just like it because I want the baguettes to have some flour on it when it comes out the oven and now we will just let this rise for 15 minutes. Okay, the most important thing when it comes to making the baguette is making sure your oven has steam. Now if you're making this at home, you don't have a professional oven. Just get a pot of water, place, put a lot of water into it, boil it and place it under your oven and make sure you preheat your oven so that when you put the baguettes into the oven, you'll have that steam to help with the crust while the inside is still moist, you can still have a hard crust. Don't skip the pot of water, it's very important. Next thing I did is I took two trays and I dusted it with flour because this is where we will be placing the baguettes and as I said the flour is optional. After 15 minutes this is how our baguettes look. As you can see they rise a little bit more and now what we are going to do is we are going to score the baguettes. Once again don't skip this step because this is very important if you don't score the baguettes you will like explode or something in the oven. Not really a scroll, but you are, you are going to end up with bad bread because the steam, you are not allowing the steam to come out. Now I scroll the baguettes in two different ways. The smaller ones I went straight down and the longer ones I sliced it in two. Now we're going to transfer this onto the sheet tray. Okay, so moving the bread onto the trays was really hard. Next time I'll use a cardboard because I kind of messed up the shapes of the bread. But that's fine because they'll still taste good and mistakes happen. And now all I'm doing is spraying the bread with a lot of water. Once again, this is to help with steam. Make sure you spray the bread on top. And as you can see in the oven, the pot of water is under. And I'm spraying the entire oven with more water. Don't skip this step because this is to help with the steam. So after 40 minutes in the oven, this is how your baguettes should look. As you can see, they opened up pretty good and the white parts on the baguettes is the extra flour that I dusted on top of them before going in the oven. And I did forget to show you guys, after 15 minutes in the oven, I did open up the oven and spray more water to help with the steam. And your baguettes should be hard on the outside and the inside should be really soft. And this is basically how you make a simple French baguette. Don't forget to like subscribe and share with your friends until next time